video and smart viewer first select your group from the drop down menu you don't want to select the individual device because then you'll only be able to connect to the cameras on that one recorder and you won't have access to the favorites once you've selected your group click the connect button and then after it connects you'll have your tree with all of your devices listed under camera once you have your cameras displayed you can take a look at your camera tree on the left and you'll see your status uh, icon showing uh, that they're recording in green anything in blue means that's a camera that you're viewing and you can simply take a camera and drop and drag it or you can double click to view it if you have an unused tile it will go and use that tile if the tiles are all full then whichever tile is selected with the blue frame will be used at the bottom of the screen you can select your camera views 1 4 9 16 25 and 36 you can also change aspect ratio and view 1 6 12 20 and 30 you can double click a camera to go full screen double click to go back for each camera tile we have at the bottom of the screen a capture lets you save a snapshot with some options here for uh, putting a title on there there's a print option there's a local recording which is like an emergency recording so if you see something happening you can click that button and it will light up this light down here on the bottom right and record that one camera directly to your PC. Next is remote recording. That's if you wanted to start and stop manual recording on your recorder. You typically don't want to do that. Uh, Two-way audio controls are next if that's enabled on your camera. Uh, alarm outputs. Digital zoom. We can zoom in and then be able to pan around the screen here as needed. We have our full screen. And then next is the delete button, deletes all the video tiles from the screen. And then next is sequence. We'll come back to that in a minute. Let's pull up a camera again. The OSD button here lets me toggle the on screen display, the status icons, and the time and date. Especially when you're viewing lots of cameras, the OSD might take up a lot of room on the screen. And then finally, we have brightness and contrast adjustments that you can uh, to be able to fine tune the video. On the left hand side, we have controls for the alarm outputs. We have a list of events coming in, analytics and motion, status messages for all of my devices, and then our favorites. Favorites allow me to drop and drag the cameras to the screen. Favorites allow me to drop and drag the cameras to the screen, display them in the order I want and the pattern that I want. Click the plus sign and type in a name and hit enter and that will store that favorite so I can easily come back to that later. Double click on a favorite and it will refresh the screen with the view that you selected. You click on a favorite, it will display how you configured that. One other important thing to know is that you can take on any camera, you can right click and you have many of the same options we went through before, capture, print and all that. Um, but there's also an option to keep the aspect ratio so that it doesn't stretch the picture as well as change profile. Our recorders can have up to three different video profiles. So if you notice that if the video is not the right resolution, it's too high, too low res, whatever it might be, you can right click and choose different profiles. If you have a fisheye camera, you can right click and choose the uh, mounting position for that camera. And then you can choose the dewarping option and then be able to do various dewarping.